Hello, welcome back. Our freeze dried eggs are done. I just got an alert. I wanted to show you guys actually. If you can see that the light's kind of shining on it, but it, oh, here we go. The freeze drying process is complete. Please check your food. The freeze dryer will automatically continue running for two additional hours. That doesn't really come in very good, but it's awesome because with this freeze dryer, you do not have to um, guess at how long it's going to take. It has a sensor in it, and so it actually alerts you when your food is done. Excuse my appearance, by the way. Big news, the company with the lease on the property, or on the building on the property, has signed their rights over and they do not want to buy it. So we are good to go, you guys. Our house goes up for sale next week and we're just moving forward. So I have been cleaning and painting and boxing things up and it's just, but the freeze dryer's done and I wanted to show you guys how the eggs turned out. So let's see how it is. All right, so it's asking if we need more dry time and to check the food. So to check the food, we are going to release the drain here. Make sure there is no water in there. Luna, get out of here, girl. So we're gonna open this up and release the suction. Oh. Madeline and I can't do this with one hand, so you take over camera duty. There we go. She's unsealing so that we can open the door. Okay, and we're gonna give it a second. You can see the seal starting to come loose. Wait till it's ready. Alright. Oh, popped open easy. Now the sensor is in the middle tray here, so we're gonna go ahead and check this one. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, it just crumbles. That's amazing. It's definitely dry. It does not need any more dry time. Oh, it just crumbles apart. That is so cool. Okay, let's check this other tray here too, just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, everything just crumbles. Oh, this is so exciting. How cool is that? Okay, so we're gonna come down here and no, we do not need any more dry time. We're gonna go ahead and complete that and the machine just shut off. Well, good afternoon. Welcome back. A couple little updates for you. Elizabeth updating you guys on moving and our sellers accepting the offer. Look at her working hard, painting, making sure everything's nice. Done over there. Done over here. When it cools off, I'll show you what I've been working on outside. Real quick, I'll show you what the boys are doing on the deck. Got that all cleaned off and looking pretty good. Got it washed. They're working on that, got it all clean and clear. Looking really good back here. We got all our pots cleaned up. All the other ones are in the greenhouse, put away. It's just looking really good around here. We're pretty excited. We're supposed to have pictures taken Monday. So we need to do as much as we can by then, much cleanup, you know, pressure washing the house like we did, a couple things to fix here and there. Uh, but yeah, we're making good progress. Living room looks bare. All the walls have been painted. Except for that one. This one is kind of sad because this is where we had measured our kids since they were real little for the last seven years at least. Uh, the only the only plus side of that one is is when we started measuring that we had carpet and there's no carpet in here anymore. So they don't matter anyways. I, the heights aren't even right anyways. But yeah, we've got Elizabeth. This is kind of like her Etsy, her current Etsy shop. She got all that cleaned up, taken care of. We got the walls all painted, nice. It's looking good. We got to, still got to do some outlet covers. We still got some stuff to take out to our storage. And we have our food pantry here. What's left of it? A little bit back there too. But other than that, we're just painting, finishing up, and just trying to declutter, you know, get this table out of the way and make it look as roomy as possible. Elizabeth uh, has really cleaned up the kitchen, gotten it looking really good. And it's just, you know, it's lived in. That's what happens. So before you move, you gotta make sure everything's cleaned up, organized, and looking good. It's hot, but I'm gonna take you guys outside anyways and show you what we still have to do and show you what we've completed. Mud room has started gathering more stuff, but almost everything is done in here. Obviously we still have our freezers in here because we can't do anything with that. 
Uh, but everything out of here, pretty much. Some shoes, some coats, a couple shelves. So we kind of been on a slight break today. I know we only got two days left, uh, but we butchered some chickens for a friend today. 39 of them. So we had to take care of that first thing this morning. We've been up since 4 a.m. working on that. And it's noon now. We didn't get started at four. We didn't start till seven, but got everything set up, had our morning coffee and everything. So we still have some stuff that needs to go in the trailer. We still got some cleanup stuff to do. You know, we got everything. Went and picked up our grain yesterday. But I mean, everything's pretty well organized. We got the play area all cleaned out. I gotta replace a board up there. Back here is looking really good. We got. Elizabeth's old herb garden that we used to use herb garden. We left some catnip and we left the peppermint uh, for the next people here. We got to get these old raised beds out of here. Nothing touching the house. And I've went through and washed down the entire house because it gets dusty. Uh, but yeah, it's looking really good. All looking good in the front. What do you think, E? Working hard? So we've been working hard for a couple days now on just straight on working on this stuff. Guys, real quick, what we've done for the chickens in the temporary while we list it and while we have showings and everything, this is what we had to do. One sec. So we're gonna make the chickens tomorrow morning for the first day, we we'll started feeding them in here. We're gonna make them come in this fenced in area and we only have like maybe 50 birds left, so it's not too bad. Uh, we're definitely gonna upscale that at the next place but we've built this temporary thing that when we open the door in the morning like this this door will obviously be closed they'll run through here and they'll run into the fenced in area and we'll have this gate here closed and then that way you know maybe whoever is looking at this place are interested maybe they don't want chickens maybe they don't want farm animals i don't know but we just that way we don't have to worry about our chickens getting ran over. We don't have to worry about the chickens following people around as they're looking at stuff. And most of all, we don't have to worry about people stepping in chicken poop because not everybody likes stepping in chicken poop. We got one more load to take to the dump. We got some chairs that uh, we're going to give away. We got our basketball hoop since the new place has a mounted basketball hoop. We don't need this thing anymore, so we're giving that away for free. We got our greenhouse plastic yet to pick up. And just some odds and ends. We, like I said, we still got to finish putting this stuff in the trailer. We got this building. It's completely full. It's kind of our storage thing for now. Although I don't think we're taking it with us, but I don't think they're going to be able to move it completely full. So we might, once we kind of get settled up there, we might have to slowly start moving the stuff back out of there once we get this trailer emptied and taking it up to hopefully the new place if everything goes well and our place sells. So we still have our meat birds up in the garden they are not ready to process yet but if everything goes right you know closings you have 30 45 days or so um we should have plenty of time to process them while we're here and that way we don't have to like try and load 150 meat birds into a trailer and take them to the new place we'll put them in the freezer instead so that's kind of our update for today uh if beth has anything else for you i'll have her hop on here otherwise we'll see you all tomorrow all right guys, day of pictures. It is Monday. It's been a couple days since I've updated you guys, uh, but we've been super busy. Beth and I have been putting in 12, 14 hour days the last few days. We're tired, hot, and ready for this to be done. So here's the kitchen. Looks really good. Elizabeth did a really good job on it. I won't go too in depth, but. So yeah, everything looks bare and clear like nobody even lives here and that's how it's supposed to look when you're trying to sell a house but come outside i'll give you a little update on the animals so uh, the boys got the deck all done man it looks good literally has not been this clear and empty and decluttered since we bought this place so that's pretty exciting uh but yeah <laughs> got this all done these layers guys remember how we put the we converted our rabbit tractor into a layer tractor well these guys are set to come out of here. They're getting too big for it. And uh, you can see what they're doing to the grass now. So it's time to get them out of there. I'll show you where we end up putting the other layers. I don't think you guys have seen it. I think you, I showed you when it was all set up, but you haven't seen it all set up. 
with chickens in it. So here we go. You can tell the chickens are loving it. Not too many chickens, some in there. Some are in the coop laying eggs. Some are down here digging, finding bugs, taking a dirt bath. They're loving it. So anyways, these other layers are gonna come in here and then I'm gonna get these turkeys out of the brooder. Since there's only 15 of them, they'll fit really nicely for the next few weeks inside that tractor. So that'd be pretty cool. So anyways, we got all of our butchering stuff kind of set over here because obviously this is all going with us but all of our butchering stuff all of our buckets spare rabbit cages we still got the the turkeys in here they are getting big and there's still there's a couple corners because we had one corner to get out so we went ahead and put them in here with the turkeys for now look at that look how big they're getting and vicious vicious birds they're probably like uh, they're probably four weeks old now. Nah, uh, they're probably closer to five weeks old. So it's time to get them out of there. We usually put them out between the four and six week mark. Uh, if you can raise a turkey up to four weeks, they're really hard to kill. But anything under that, man, they will die from anything. They're very, very uh, easy to kill. Let's go up here and look at the Cornish. So this was our garden. And now it has around 125 meat chickens in it. It goes all the way back there though. They just congregate here because of the food. So feed water. It's got deep, deep layers of compost. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is not ideal, right? We like to pasture raise everything. We like to raise them in tractors, move them every single day. But this is kind of like the best case for us trying to move and uh, us trying to pack up things and keep it simple while we're trying to do this. We don't want to overload ourselves with a whole bunch of chores and stressing out about all the other stuff that's house related, trying to get it ready and packed and all that stuff. So best case scenario, I will say the heat the last two weeks, it's been consistently over a hundred degrees and it is just doing a number on our cool season grasses in these pastures up here. So we have had to be uh, supplementing hay to these goats because it's just been, it's been rough. And uh, yeah, so we had a really cool wet spring, which had all these cool season grasses come up and then it got hot pretty quick and just killed them all. So there hasn't been a lot of vegetation for these goats to eat. Ah, classic Lonnie. Leaves a coffee cup wherever he is. Anyways, our mud room. Obviously we got our paint and stuff that we did. It looks pretty good, it's cleaned out. You know, we got all the stuff out of it. For the most part, at least. It's looking good, so. Yeah, there's some update, guys. I was hoping that maybe I can give you guys a sneak peek of the new place when I go up there today for the inspection, but I don't know that I'm actually allowed to videotape on somebody else's property without their permission. So to be safe and lawful, I'm not going to do it. But hopefully we'll have something to you guys pretty quick. We list our house on uh, Wednesday, so two days from now. And hopefully it sells really quick and uh, we can get this stuff done and get out of here and into the new place uh, by early September, late August. You know, we don't want to go too much further than than mid to end of September because it's likely to have snow on the ground. I don't want to be trying to move and get settled with snow on the ground. So anyways, that's the update for today, guys. We'll hit you up again tomorrow.